Good morning. We're so happy here. <laughs> Are you okay? Yeah. If you want to start off your Monday. I can probably start off my Monday going to Orange Theory. Yeah. And actually, you read? I read. I, read. I did yoga. I actually have been reading. I'm kind of almost done with my book. I read so slow. It's okay. Um, and I was also half asleep this morning. I think I read four pages. Yeah. But you, you got up. You went to Orange Theory. Got some lint on your shirt. We just had Toy Story 4 on. <laughs> We're both. I didn't realize it was the end. And I look over and he's sitting here <laughs> welling up with tears. And I look over as like, I don't, I mean, how long do you have to wait to spoil an ending? Um, I don't know, I saw some people tweeting about this the other day. Like someone was mad about somebody tweeting about like the end of one of the original Star Wars movies. Uh-huh. And people were like. <laughs> Decades. Yeah. Um. But man, comment below if you think Toy Story 4 was necessary or not. <laughs> because It was necessary. Yeah. That so is I'm gonna brutal. Put on some wonderful world of Mickey Mouse. Yeah. The Ren and Stimpy versions. Um, we do the vlog, so if you like this video, come back tomorrow. Happy Monday. We're just going to Epcot at the end of the week. What's up with that? Who came up with this plan? Why wasn't I invited? <laughs> Alrighty, me and James are going grocery shopping at Trader Joe's. I've never really like truly grocery shopped here. I've just come for like seasonal stuff. So we're gonna see how the prices compare to Jewel and see what plant-based stuff they have. Look at you. So as Sarah and James go shopping, I have the new documentary. It's on Disney Plus called Torn. Um, interesting and sad story about a family that is connected to mountain climbing um, so i'm excited to see how this documentary goes um eve is not thrilled that they left she was over there mad at the door you got stickers that would be a one hour later <laughs> look at this american method we did good we got lots of good stuff Jamesy got stickers. Uh-oh. Hi. Jamesy's having yogurt. I'm gonna do our haul. Shout out to my nail. I'm going to take I'm gonna get my nail polish taken off before I go to Florida this weekend. But it's distracting to me, so I'm sure it's distracting to some of you. Um sour cream and onion corn puffs. We're snacking on these now. For our breads, I have Indian style flatbread, tortillas. I got everything bagels, normal, just like bread bread. It's sourdough. Um, crackers, easy stuff for Jamesy for lunch. Their French brioche bread. This is not plant-based. Most of what I got is, it is so good. Christina has it at her house all the time and I just had to have it. Um, got this maple pecan granola cereal. I think I'm gonna put some of this protein granola in it. Also a Christina suggestion. <gasps> what? Whoa. Did you have fun at, at Trader Joe's? Everyone just loved ya. Got some almond milk, oat milk, jasmine rice, dried cranberries, some tricolor spaghetti. Hey. And these little cereal bars. So this is just kind of like standardy stuff. Some drinks. I got sparkling limeade and some kombucha. 
As for canned things, I just got some Cuban style black beans and some garbanzo beans as well as green chilies. I don't really have meals planned for this week. I know that we're going out tonight, so we need something quick for today. Um, and the rest of the week is kind of like uncertain, but I just got like basics that I knew that I could whip stuff up. Also having some stuff for Peter and James to have while I'm gone this weekend. Um, so I don't have like meals to like say this is for this and this is for that. But it's just kind of all standard and this doggy. I got a I got a wrangler. For snackies, I got Thai lime chili almonds, these jerk style plantain chips, and just normal tortilla chips. I got this spicy pozole verde. It's a, a vegan twist on a classic soup. Um, romesco dip, and then this vegan pesto. I am such a sauce person that like I'm always I'm overwhelmed by Trader Joe's because everything looks so good so I feel like I did a good job at like getting good things but not going overboard but also not holding back um so I got this Thai green curry simmer sauce this peri peri sauce vegan creamy dill dressing and sweet chili sauce sweet chili sauce is honestly like one of my top three sauces that exist. Some frozen or ready-made stuff. I got some chorizo, cauliflower gnocchi, and spinach tortellini. I've really had a taste for tortellini. I got this vegan and gnocchi for Peter, so if I whipped up a sauce, we wouldn't have to like, he wouldn't have to eat the tortellini. Fully cooked falafel and vegan enchilada casserole. You gonna use your hand? Hey. Oh, gross. <laughs> was it sour? Was it was cranberry hey. sour? And then these spicy lentil wraps. I think most of the rest of the groceries is produce, what? but I will show you our fun treats. These were um, for Valentine's Day, but they're like piled like three deep. I don't know if they're sandwiches. I don't know. It just looked really good. These mini mochi. Hey, Eve. Are frozen. And maple leaf cookies. These are... This is plant-based, but this is not. For fruits, got... What was that? <laughs> so good, you had to gasp. Um, mango chunks and strawberries. We have zucchini. Spinach. A big cucumber. I rarely, I'm not a big broccoli fan, but I do like these if they're like doused in lemon juice. Um, so some baby broccoli cuties. We got some peppers, some avocados, some lemons, some cauliflower florets. This vegan ranch crunch salad kit looks good. So I got that. Potatoes onions, great tomatoes, mushrooms, and tomatoes on the vine. So all of this was I think $172, um, which is probably a little less than what we would spend at Jewel for one to two weeks worth of groceries. Again, we're just two people, obviously now, a toddler who is eating much more not relying on bottles as much. Um, so, uh, I mean, and then also in comparison to that, what is so funny? He's just smiling at me, watch it. <laughs> Do you think mommy vlogging is funny? But then I also think that the quality at Trader Joe's is great. The food itself is a lot more fun than we typically get. So like all of the different fancy sauces, a lot of the ready-made things. And then you know it's also really great quality. So truly, I thought it was gonna be much more. Um, and like I said, I didn't like hold back, but I didn't, like I I also like, I don't know, I think I had a good middle ground of like restraining myself, but also getting everything that I wanted. 
So I'm really happy and I think we'll make, got to chase this dog around. Um, I think we'll make shopping at Trader Joe's a regular thing. <laughs> <laughs> ah, I got yogurt on my nose. <laughs> That's the face of a very happy boy. Two and a half hours? He napped for two and a half hours to wake up and watch some trolls and eat some puffs. Before we have our dinner. I'm about to sign off for work for the day. Sarah's getting up a vlog now. And then we're gonna eat and go to United Center because we're going to a Bulls game. I've only been to one Bulls game in my entire life. And the last time we were in Bulls game, I was performing with the color guard and the marching band. <laughs> and she's going to tonight. <laughs> but in a selfie of us there. By the looks of it, we got a lot going on for dinner, but it's pretty simple. The dumplings are this organic vegan brand that we've showed before. I um, mean, these are Korean barbecue vegetable dumplings. So I'm just getting those seared up. I roasted up Brussels sprouts and those are gonna get this Mongolian garlic sauce that I got from Target. And I got noodles going for peanut noodles and they're gonna be topped with these roasted red peppers. So the peanut sauce that I always make is a couple spoons of peanut butter a decent amount of soy sauce, some ground ginger. I wasn't looking and I accidentally put cumin in it today. Um, so that'll be an, a different kick. And then water. And the water I would start slow on because you can always add more. Um, but you just get it to the consistency you like and then top with sesame seeds or in my case, I just have everything but the bagel seasoning. Alrighty, here are our finished plates, the peanut noodles and the dumplings, Brussels sprouts all done up, our sauces for the dumplings. This is the sweet chili sauce from Trader Joe's. And this is just soy sauce, red pepper flakes, garlic, and ginger. And we're also gonna drink some of the limeade. Sparkling. Jamesy started dinner. Here we are, the United Center. It's been a long time since I've been in here. But we are doing United Center parking. We're gonna hop right in, game starts in an hour. So hopefully we'll get to peruse around and whatnot. Show you guys some stuff. Whoa. Whoa. Jordan was at Magic Kingdom yesterday. <laughs> These are cool. Did you know that Peter has been with the Stanley Cup? I'm, I'm gonna put your picture in right here with it. <laughs> You're just looking around? Oh, look at those guys over there. Those are cool. They're cool. So if you did not know, the Chicago Blackhawks, the hockey team, also plays at the United Center. So that's why there's both. That is so cool. That's really cool. What are you doing? All smiling.
Welcome to the United Center. Tonight's matchup features the Phoenix Suns and your Chicago Bulls. Tonight, in our celebration of Black History Month, we ask that you please rise if you're able and kindly remove your hats for the Black National Anthem. Lift every voice and sing. There's a garage door in our in our hometown Evergreen Park that had all the trophies and the years on them. Famous. So cool. Look at this cool joint. Look at that mural. Blackhawks, bulls. Aromatic. Delicious Monk Dark Matter Coffee represent. Yeah. All right, so we left right at the end of the third quarter. Are you vlogging? I am vlogging. Are you a vlogger? <laughs> yeah. Um, showing some signs of being tired, a little restless. Um, I'm showing signs of being tired. And Peter's showing signs of being tired and restless. But we're not heading straight home. We are going to Fire Cakes. And I called to see if they had anything vegan. And they said they do, but somebody had just called asking the same question. So basically we're racing strangers for vegan donuts. I'm blowing red lights. 
<laughs> All righty. Here we are in Hubbard Street. Do not be worried by the empty case. I got the last one. There's only one. So I got a raspberry filled donut. Um, they did say there was two left. So hopefully the other person got there and they got their donuts still too. Sarah just came out from putting James down. So now we can have our donuts. Let's give it three seconds before the puppy comes running. Hmm? So give it three seconds before the puppy comes running. Oh. Which one's this one? Mine. Oh, what'd you get? Raspberry. <gasps> and I got the vegan one, right? So good. Three seconds. Dark chocolate, banana, chia seed, coconut. Three seconds. Take a break. It's home. Live reaction. We're actually live streaming. Mm. Good. You want to do splitsies? The donuts were freaking delish. So good. So good. And we're done with Queer Eye. Oh, are we? Just like that. It's good to be home. It's good to be home. <laughs> we know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>